And we will be speaking with Eddie Megwa, the Deputy Director of Press and Public Relations, uh, NYSC, and State uh, Coordinator, NYSC, to clear the air on this uh, development uh, because there are a lot of concerns from parents with regards to this uh, developing story. Eddie Megwa, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate for giving us um, the opportunity to um, respond to the questions you may have. All right. Uh, there are reports uh, making the rounds that about 109 core members have tested positive to COVID-19. Uh, talk to us uh, what the true situation is. Give us a clear picture of it. Oh, well, um, let me start first by um, joining my Director General to commiserate with the families of um, our prospective core members that lost their lives while going to report for the National Youth Service Corps, uh, having collected their call up um, letters. It's quite unfortunate. Um, the NYC family feel highly bitter. We feel so bad, and uh, we commiserate with the families and the entire nation for the loss of these uh, young patriotic Nigerians that were on their way to answer the clarion call in the service to the fatherland. Well, um, being that as it may, uh, back to your question, um, it is really rather unfortunate that um, most of the media uh, is fully re uh, misrepresenting NYSE. Um, if you go to every NYSC orientation camp nationwide, we are conducting um, COVID-19 tests at the gate of every orientation camp. And as core members are coming in, or prospective core members are coming in, they are not yet core members. Mm. They are tested at the gate. If you are negative, you will have a way inside the camp. If you're positive, the NCDC that is permanently residing with us in all the orientation camps will take you to isolation center. And the picture is very clear. There is no prospective core member that tests positive that will be allowed to get into any orientation camp. Who takes care of them while they are there? Is there any budget to, for healthcare while they are serving in other regions? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, NYSC, we follow up our core members right from the point we push them out from the orientation camp. We have inspectors in all the local government areas in all the states of the Federation. And inspectors are there to follow them up, up to their places of primary assignment. And they have all the contacts of the core members, and the core members have the contacts of all the local government inspectors. Now, should there be any problem with any of our core members, our inspectors will go on immediately and arrest the situation. The one that will need the immediate referral, we are working hand in hand with NCDC. We'll call on them, and immediately they take care of them. Mm -hmm. Now, wherever we need to spend money, no matter how much, to ensure we save the life of any core member, NYC is openly and disposed to it. Uh, you see the Director General, you saw him at Hawaii Bomb, you know, because of how he felt over what happened. There is no amount of money we spend the youth of this nation that will be considered to be too much. And that's what NYC is doing. We don't allow them to just hang around anyhow. And that is why orientation camp is very primary. This is where we teach them how to conduct themselves when they leave the orientation camp. If you come around to NYC orientation camp in Lagos, you will see all the things we have put in place to make sure we sensitize them and make them to acquire the habit of sustaining the COVID-19 protocols, even when they leave the orientation camp. Yeah. How about uh, ensuring their safety to, to their various destination in terms of, we see what just happened. Please, don't travel at night. It's dangerous. Wherever you get to, once it's 6 p.m., please pass the night. The next day, you continue. 
Once you get to a place, once you get to a place that is safe, mm. stop there and sleep. You don't mm. need to continue in the night. It's not safe. Especially our roads are bad. You don't need to keep traveling in the night. It's very, very horrendous. You don't do that. And we tell them all the time. All right. The, it's wrong for them to travel in the night. All right. The yeah. boss that you are paid for. We, we exactly. just have to leave the conversation here now. Uh, Eddie Megwa, Deputy Director, Press and Public Relations, NYSC, and State Coordinator, NYSC, thank you for your time.